In Chinese culture, newlyweds will commonly incorporate a traditional Chinese tea ceremony known in Chinese as Geng Cha as part of their wedding day festivities. The tea ceremony is a traditional part of most Chinese weddings and it serves as a formal introduction of the couple to their respective families, as well as a show of appreciation for the elders' love and support. This ceremony also provides the elders an opportunity to bless your marriage and bestow presents. In this video, we will discuss what is needed to plan a Chinese tea ceremony. When does the tea ceremony take place? A Chinese tea ceremony is traditionally held on the day of a lucky engagement. In modern weddings, this normally takes place between the ceremony and the reception on the wedding day. Where does the tea ceremony happen? The tea ceremony is an event that should be done in private with your family and away from other guests. Typically, the ceremony can be held at the bride or the groom's home but depending on how the day is planned, can also be done in a private room at the venue. What is needed for a Chinese tea ceremony? Chinese tea ceremonies consist of key components. This item is traditionally included as a part of the bride's wedding dowry. If you don't have one, you can either purchase one or borrow an existing set. A Chinese tea, such as pu'er or jasmine, is often used for the ceremony. These sweet teas are used because it represents marital happiness and promotes good relations with the new in-laws. Herbs like lotus seeds and red dates are frequently added to the tea since their Chinese pronunciations are connected with fertility blessings for the pair. A small table is required as a place to set down the tea as well as any gifts received from the family during the ceremony. You don't want to reuse cups, so make sure there are enough for each pair of elders. You can either request cups from the reception or purchase decorated disposable cups. Elders participating in the ceremony will be sitting down on chairs that are sometimes decorated. Typically, the couple will kneel when servicing the tea to the elders. If this is the case, it is common to use decorated red cushions, which will also keep you comfortable while kneeling. It's always recommended to get helpers to assist with the tea ceremony process, such as filling teacups, passing the tea, and receiving their presents, to make things go more smoothly. Couples will often employ a lucky lady to help them through the process. Bridesmaids are also fantastic modern options as well. What is the setup for a Chinese tea ceremony? If you wish to stay with the more traditional ways for the tea ceremony, kneel while serving tea to honor your elders. Couples can also choose to stand and bow while serving tea for modern ceremonies. In terms of seating placement, the groom is on the right side while the bride is on the left, similar to a Western wedding ceremony. Male relatives will sit in front of the bride while female relatives sit across from the groom. What is the processional order for a Chinese tea ceremony? Traditionally, the bride's side arrives first, followed by the groom's. It is important, however, to check with the newlywed's parents first to see if they have a different preference. The serving order within the family is based on seniority, with the immediate parents served first. The family's oldest member is then served, followed by the family's youngest member. Here's an example of the processional order. What are some other things to know? Before the tea is served, the lucky lady may say a few lucky sayings to you and the elders. The lucky lady or helpers will have four cups on the serving plate for you to pass to the elders. The groom addresses the male elder with his title like, Father, please drink tea, then serves him a cup of tea. The bride then follows the groom and proceeds with the same actions with the address and serving of the tea. The same actions are then repeated again to the female elder. After drinking the tea, the elderly couple will bless you and present you with money or gifts. If the elders present you with jewelry, they will immediately put it on you. 
If you receive gifts that aren't jewelry, give them to your helpers to set aside.